between these two heavyweights, one much bigger than the other. Look at Jarrell Miller, 333 pounds, almost a Introducing to you first, fighting tonight out of the blue corner. He comes to the ring wearing black trunks with red lettering and weighed in officially at 333 pounds. Coming to us from Brooklyn, New York, USA. He brings an undefeated record with 26 wins, one draw, 22 of his 26 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Jarrell Big Baby Miller. And his opponent across the ring, fighting tonight out of the red corner. He comes to the ring wearing black trunks with white lettering and weighed in officially at 233 and a half pounds. Hailing from Greenwich, London, England, he has a professional record consisting of 19 wins, two defeats, with 18 of his 19 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the former WBA regular heavyweight champion of the world, Triple D, Daniel Dynamite Dubois. Well, as you both know, okay. most of all, remember to defend yourselves at all times, all right? Just close. Big Baby Miller disrespectfully labeling Daniel Dubois. And there's Dubois who says, listen. There's the shot. Straight he right hand down the pipe. Right towards him. That's exactly what he needs to do. Dubois, keep the shot straight. Is he that same guy at this stage of his career? In his last he fight. He had problems with belt line low blows. Already you can see the tactics from Miller. That's exactly what Dubois needs to avoid. He needs to make a guerrilla war. Tire his arms out. Yeah, he's trying to find space, but do that by using your feet and using the jab. There you go, he's jabbing downstairs. If, if I can see what he's trying to do here. Right hand around the guard. A stinging shot. You can't just keep throwing the same punch. See Miller try to counter it right there. He's in the ring. Brooklyn, New York. I've never seen Dubois move this much. You know, he, he's kind of like, he just gave this round up. Just to... Four, two, ten seconds. Seconds out. Round two. I'm overreacting, but that was a very tired looking Daniel Dubois. In the man moving sideways, it's like nervous energy. When you have nervous... Yeah, and there's more intent now with the feet coming forward from Miller. You haven't seen that episode? I mean, training-wise, Darren, how do you even prepare to face someone this size? I have to agree with Chris, he did look tired in that corner. Right on the ear. Every time he does throw the body shot, and then the referee warns him, so you can see in that head hunt, you see it's a bar. Not too sure what his tactics are at the minute. I see the same thing up with those big arms. Nothing's really penetrating through. Some said, listen, the longer this fight goes, the better for Dubois, because Miller's going to get tired out. And others were saying, no. Yeah, that was a stiff jab. He felt that Miller needs something to build from Dubois. Could that be it? You know, I like the strategy of Jarrell Miller to walk Daniel Dubois down, and it would be equally as effective to do some leaning on him as well. That 333 pounds on the shoulders of Daniel Dubois. The body shot by Miller right there. You see the elbows are out. I think, what? there we go. See, one of them needs to start throwing up with him. With his head. Yeah, I noticed that too. But that's up to the referee. This doesn't look good for Dubois. The body language does not look good. And now Miller's starting to open up a little bit. Yeah, I agree with you. Is that not good science for Dubois? Oh, that right hand was more of a forearm shot. And Dubois stands in And look, both of them trying to land big shots. Division but... is essentially over. That's the kind of pressure he's under tonight. For Miller, it's a big swing and a miss. I love those body shots by Dubois. We're breaking down. This is incredible stuff. It's going to be a great fight if it continues. Again, it needs to look for that right hand after. There's that uppercut you're calling for. He's got to be careful, Dubois. Keep drawing with the jab, Todd. Miller, just when he starts coming forward again like a big raging bull. Power 
double jab, that shotgun jab, with your foot behind you like a two by four hitting the front of your face. Again, these aren't good signs for Dubois for me. Mouth wide open, he's breathing heavy. Darren Agnes sat down on those punches. You gotta give Dubois credit. He's gonna ease that Dubois. Throw Dubois over the kick. Right, a clubbing right hand. A nice body shot with the left hand for Dubois. So you gotta go to the sides, you can't come up the middle. Listen, yeah, I mean, look, it's good pressure from Miller, but the, the jab pause with that shot sometimes, Dubois, as does Miller, so... Left there from Big Baby Miller. Chris Mannix, you're scoring this fight. I've got a 30-27 to 27 in favor of Daniel Dubois. Now, if you, it's Jarrell Miller, because I think his pressure is... Oh, nice. Nice step-in jab from Dubois. Lucas Brown in his last fight in March. Can he do the same here against Dynamite Dubois? I like it now. He's, he's adjusting Dubois. He's getting, building up to this fight. It's a 99% of it, but Dubois didn't have a good line. Getting that pressure so relentless from Miller. He's trying to hide in that little spot. Little Dubois getting caught with more now. I said both getting a hold for that right uppercut right now. Yes, the elbows. The there you go. There's some head moves by, by uh, Dubois right there. Big man, especially when you're meeting halfway. Perfect shot on the off by Jab coming in that direction. But oh, back comes oh, Big Baby with off. a big left hook. Picks it up, good variation. This is where he needs to be, holding the center, moving away. I love this from Dubois. Oh, wait, literally and figuratively. Couple jabs here. Dubois gets the ropes. Moving this much. He's used to being a Terminator coming forward, looking for the knockout. Now he's the one that's being hunted. Who can take more of the beating? That condition is going to play a big. You know, he shuts your life out. I think Jarrell will be the first to tell you, though, that he's not in the kind of... It's like it's going one way, then it goes the other. Really heavy, flowing. Dubois better keep that So Dubois, it'll serve him best. Just keep popping that jab on the back foot. That's yeah, good pressure again from Miller. But he's keep busier with his hands. I mentioned the weight, Todd. Can he let his hands go? He's busy with the jab. That right hand will follow. You can see the hands are, are lower now. I want to see that punch again by Dubois. Keep going that way. Clever, it was smart, but now he's looking on to shots. Looking lazy, looking clumsy. See that jab right there? Beautiful jab. That's going to set up the right hand, whether it's a hook, straight, or uppercut. Another good round. Boss now has an opportunity to land that right hand. Needs to vary this movement. Wow, there you go, Darren. You called it. Really just missed. We're in round seven, scheduled for ten. I, I must say, I was worried about the, the pressure early doors, but... 56, Drum Miller had some moments in the fourth and the fifth where it looked like he might be able to take control, but... Honestly, the cleaner shots have been from Dubois, noticeably the jab. You saw Miller in the corner with some big, deep breaths, but once the bell rings... And when you gain that much weight, when you have that much mass, you know, in these rounds, in it, you know that. Come on. Come on. Right, right. Tags are fading. And if you start walking them back, big men hate to be walked back. That was hate. And then I call back over by you are not picking it up. You're giving those arms. I mean, there, there's body language in the corner from Miller isn't great. Body language is saying it all from Miller. Oh, uh, breathing with his mouth. Oh, the upper left here. In the kingdom of Saudi Arabia downstairs goes Dubois. He's fighting with a lot of confidence here. It was that body now shot. he's bouncing on his toes. He's found that second wind. Nice. Boxing backwards, keeping that jab in the face, not forgetting the body. The only thing... What can Jarrell Miller do differently to turn things around, or does he have that skill set? Nice right hand. Over the top, another one from Dubois. Another good round by Dubois with that jab. A lot of people, including Jarrell Miller. He's digging deep in this fight. Got to give him credit for that. He said before this fight that Miller was tailor-made for him. I, I love, he's got three minutes to do it. Here's Chris Mannix's scorecard. Yeah, pretty clean. Entering this final round, Jarrell Miller does need to 
coming in on my scorecard. And look, he's got some knockouts in his career, but he's not known. The big left hook by Miller. Dubois right now. Does Dubois want to stay in the middle of trade? Is this no. smart? I don't think so. Send him the keys. Bring up the engine. He's close to getting it. That's been the most the only way he can win this fight. The only chance he gets to land the shot is if Dubois completely slowed down to a crawl here. Spent King. Now kind of hot here in the 10th, but you got to believe he's got nothing left as he eats another right in an upper. Show some bravado, but it's Dubois who's stealing the show. He wants the knockout. He wants the Oh, big shots from Dubois. Stumbles to the right. And he weighed in at 333 pounds. Boy, just, that, that is so one-sided. I'll story worry. here tonight. Watch this finish. Well, listen, he's going to buy a Porsche. It was Dubois who had all the horsepower right there, all the shots. The uppercut, the right hand. Big Baby Miller was looking for a way out, and I called it earlier. Really? susceptible to uppercut. Yeah. And it was Dubois that came around. Target. And Dubois just beat his personal record for total punches landed in a wow. fight. Smarted him, and he outwilled him. Now, that, that, that is there was so much promise. Then he had the mishaps, but he can really build from this. Get not only to win so well, but to win in style in the final round in such dramatic fashion. For Dubois, what do you do with him? Who do you put him in the ring with? Fuck. Put him in with a hug on this card. We've got, we've got the two main guys. Two main. And kudos to Daniel Dubois. A lot of people wrote him off, Darren. Triple D, Daniel Dynamite Dubois.